Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Live Love Crochet. Today we're going to be doing part two of the Alpine Stitch Cardigan. Now I have finished my length and I'm measuring at around about 12 and a half. Let me just quickly show you. So, so measuring at about 12, 12 and a half centimetres. So you can see. And I wanted 14 and a half my length, but it's fine because I still have my single crochet ribbon to do, which might actually take it over. So for this ribbon, we need to finish our work on a single crochet row. We also need to have like to be starting on the left side so this is so your ribbon comes out on the right side um, if you finish your single crochet on the right side like I did I just did another row of single crochet and made it back around to the left side so you get your hook ready remember it's a 4.5 millimetre I did tell you in part one not to cut your yarn because we will be doing a single crochet ribbon so hopefully you didn't cut and I didn't cut mine so I didn't make a armhole a uh, arm a sleeve sorry so we are going to chain seven turn our work just so we can see where those loops are the chains so we're going to skip the first chain we're going to go into the second chain and make a single crochet into the next make a single crochet make a single crochet So when you get down to the bottom, you should have six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now what we need to do is we need to make slip stitches. So underneath where you've done your chains, the, the stitch, we're going to leave that alone. We're going to go into the next stitch, make a slip stitch. We're also going, going to go into the one after that and make a slip stitch. And we're going to turn our work. Now, if you can't find where you need to slip stitch next, just count down one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see you're skipping where you've just slip stitched. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the back loop of our chain back loop only and we're going to, going to make single crochets all the way up so one into the back loop only remember that just gives us our nice um, nice little ridges in the middle of our ribbon and six when you get to the top chain one and turn your work now we're going to go down doing exactly the same thing so you just chained one so leave that alone go into the next one into the back loop and make a single crochet Mm -hmm. 
when you get to the bottom. You can see your slip stitch is coming out of the stitch, so you go to the next one and slip stitch. And slip stitch into the next one. So that is all we're going to do along the single crochet row is slip stitch into two and then turn your work, go into the six one through your back loop and make a single crochet and that is how easy it is. And we are just going to do this until we get to the very end and it really does make your cardigan look very nice with the single crochet ribbon. I think it just finishes your cardigan off really nicely. So I'm going to carry on with my ribbon and I'm going to meet you somewhere around about here so I can show you how to finish it off. So I'm going to get mine done now and I will see you here. So I am getting to the end of my ribbon row. I just put a stitch marker in because I went ahead and cut and made one of my sleeves. So that's why my yarn is cut. Right, so I have two stitches left, which means I have one more to go down so I have to go down one more time so I'm just gonna slip stitch down so at the bottom now I'm going to slip stitch into these last two. And I'm just going to do one more time going back up. and matches the other side then as you can see they're both straight and I'm just gonna put a chain one and tighten that and there is the ribbon complete so next what we're going to do is the edging and the buttonholes so you'd like to get your yarn so i have my yarn and my hook i'm going to put a slip stitch onto my yarn and we're going to start on the left side at the bottom you're going to find your first place to put your your first single crochet so it might be a bit difficult so if you sit not on your hook pull through chain one and make a single crochet into the next so this is your ribbon so you're just going to have to find a place to put them nice and evenly but you can sort of like see here so here 
and uh, you just got like a few places to put these from the chain. So So there's the bottom. So now I'm going to find a space and you're going to keep single crochet in evenly because we don't want your cardigan to pull together. <clears throat> we also don't want it to increase either. So we're going to carry on doing single crochets until we get to the top until we get to the top of the cardigan and I will meet you just before I finish so I'm just coming to the end of my edge on so we're going to keep putting single crochets all the way up and then we're going to put one single crochet at the top, just like that. It's a little hard to see. So then we're going to chain one, turn your card again, and simply make one single crochet into every stitch so we're gonna do that all the way down right to the end and I will meet you right here so I'm coming to the end I'm just going to put single crochet there, single crochet, chain one, turn my work, and then single crochet all the way up again. So keep single crocheting in every stitch and then when we get to the top we're going to do a row around here around the collar and then we're going to work our way back down so I will show you how to do that when we reach the top of this um, this row so I'm now right at the top, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> into the last stitch I'm going to make a single crochet and a chain one and I'm going to put another single crochet back into that stitch. And now I'm just going to look for some spaces in this edging that I've just done to put some single crochets so we'll put one in there and I will put one right there right now we have the chains from the starting row 
for your starting chain so we just go into the top of there with our single crochets we're just putting one a single crochet into every stitch just to uh, make the collar look a bit tidy because we're going to be putting the hood on but I want these little bits to be done too so we're just going to go all the way around so you carry on all the way around and I will meet you right when I'm finishing to show you how we go down okay so I'm almost at the end so I've got a two more spaces so one and two So now I'm going to chain one and same as what we did on the other side, just going to put a single crochet back into that chain and then I'm going to begin making single crochets. Now before we can do that we quickly need to Count how many stitches we have this side so we can match that side. So I'm quickly going to go and do that. So I have 37 stitches. So now I need to match up 37 on this side. So I have a moment two. So now I need to be counting, so that's three, so this is almost, well, basically the same as what you have just done on this side, so I'm going to leave you to get to the bottom and I will meet you back then. So I'm coming to the end and I'm currently on 35 single crochets. And I needed 37, so 36, and right at the bottom is 37. So I now have matching number of stitches. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're now going to mark out our buttonholes so we are going to need some stitch markers so I'm going to use I have four buttons in mine so four stitch markers right so I'll take that out for a minute we are now going to work out where we're putting our stitch markers. So in the top, I'm going to count to the third single crochet. And at the bottom, I'm going to put it at into the second cro single crochet from the bottom that way I've still got one single crochet to go into and now I put these in roughly at the moment so I need to count in between my stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
12. Right, so I'm going to go off camera and sort this out. And I will be back in a minute. Right, so I now have 10 in between each of my stitch markers. So we're going to carry on now. And so I have one single crochet to put in before my stitch marker so for that single crochet there and then buttons I am only using small buttons so I think um use this cuff now uh I'm just going to chain one, I think. Let's see if that's a squeeze to get my button through. So if I chain one, put a single crochet into the stitch after the stitch marker, get my button, see if I can slot that through easily yes go through nicely i have used these buttons before but with different yarn it might be different so i chained one i skipped over the stitch with the stitch marker on, and i put a single crochet into the next stitch so then i'm going to put a single crochet into every stitch until I reach my stitch marker again. Um come up to my stitch marker so I'm going to chain one skip my stitch from my stitch marker and I'm going to the next stitch and chain one um single crochet single crochet into every stitch again so we're going to do this all the way up you need to go to stitch marker chain how many you need so your button fits and keep going all the way to the top so i'm at the top again i'm just going to put my last single crochet into my last stitch and chain one and i'm going to turn and this is going to be the last row of single crochets but first I need to show you how to do those buttonholes. So single crochet so you reach your buttonhole. So now I'm going to put one single crochet into my chain one space. If you have two chains, crochet two. If you have three, single crochet three into that chain. I'm going to put a single crochet into every stitch. So you should be starting to get something like this. That's where your button is. So <clears throat> it's very simple. Just keep going to reach your buttonhole. Put a single crochet in there for each chain you have and then carry on and do the same and I will meet you at the bottom. So I'm just about to do my last buttonhole. And I'm going to go into the last stitch, chain one, 
And I'm going to cut my yarn. Give it a little bit of a tail. So that is the buttonholes and your edge and finish. Just need to line it out all up. And there we are. And your buttons are all in. Would be better to see. Um, so next, I think we're going to start on the hood. So if you would like to get your yarn again and put a slip knot onto it. So we're going to start by working into this corner stitch. So you have your corner right in there. And pull it through and chain two. Go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. So we're just going to single crochet, uh, double crochet, sorry, all the way. So we've started in that corner there. So we're going to double crochet all the way up to there. If you have a stitch marker handy, you can just put your stitch marker into where you need to put your last double crochet. So then you don't go over or forget. Um, yeah, so double crochet all the way to the end. And I will meet you back when I have finished this row. So I have one last double crochet to put in. Chain two. Turn your work. You're going to skip the chain, the stitch your chain's coming out of, and go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Double crochet, this is very easy. This is all we're going to be doing. So, um, when you get to the end of this row, you're going to double crochet into the second chain, um, chain two and turn, and then you're going to make double crochets. So we're going to do this depending on what size we're doing. Just got my measurements. So I have the herd measurements. So we have 18, 19, 20, 22 and 23. So I'm doing 3 to 6, so mine's 20 centimetres. So basically we are going to be crocheting, double crocheting until we reach our number, which is minus 20. Just going to give you an example. So I'm going to put it on the head where I started. So that is going to be my head height to there. And then I'm going to stop and then I'll come back when I have done that because I'm going to leave you to do your head. Now I've finished that, 
I will take that opportunity to sew in my buttons and when I come back we will have a long uh, straight piece we need to then make it into a head so I will show you how to do that so keep going with your double crochets making your head to your head height and I will see you when we get to the end.